glowing red in five seconds and melted through in eight. High voltage tends to manifest as fractal sparks, but high current produces heat, a lot of it. I'd love to show you how to make a high current power source out of nothing more than a microwave oven transformer and a few turns of four gauge copper wire. Remove both the secondary and heater element winding. Replace them with three to four turns of four gauge stranded copper wire. The secondary outputs a measly four volts, but at 250 amps, still a thousand watts. But this thousand watts now has the capability to dump most of its energy into heating up a resistive load, such as any metal less conductive than the copper wire itself. Thin steel rod doesn't stand much of a chance. After just a couple of seconds, it can be tied into a knot and a little three inch bolt melts in less than four seconds. I also wanted to see if the current was high enough to actually vaporize steel. I think these holes speak for themselves. 